This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. Next up on the show, we head to Del Rio to visit a lodge on Lake Amistad with one heck of a view. When you think of the landscape of Southwest Texas, dry and rocky come to mind. But if you make your way to Del Rio and head north, you'll come across a big body of water and a place to stay that happens to have an exquisite view of Lake Amistad. Plants in Texas hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where we met Bert and Cindy Becker. If it doesn't poke, bite, or prick, you're not in Southwest Texas. <laughs> They're originally from California. Bert, what the heck happened? We live in Del Rio, Texas. We kind of stand out like a fish out of water. I know, I know. <laughs> Turns out the Beckers were burnt out on California dreaming. They moved to the Lone Star State after finding a chance to carry on a Texas tradition that couldn't be passed up. We uh, had the opportunity to purchase the lodge at Sanders Point and we came out and it's such a beautiful place. Bert said within about 45 seconds of being here, what do you think, what do you think, want to do it? We decided to pack it up and head out. Formerly known as the Laguna Diablo Resort, the construction of the cabin started in the 1940s, but it didn't get wrapped up till the 70s when Lake Amistad became a reality. Now the former Dew Ranch offers visitors a chance to get outdoors and enjoy the crisp, clean air in this secluded part of our state. It's so quiet and the stars are unbelievable at night. If you don't, if there's no moon, you can sometimes not even see your hand in front of your face. It's so dark out here, so it's really relaxing for people. It's just really off the grid. Literally. The Beckers purchased the resort from the Sanders after it had closed down for a few years. The first thing they changed was the name in order to honor the family that established the hideaway and to clear up any misconceptions people might have about thinking the rustic rest stop was a resort. You know, people were saying, well, where's the pool? Where's the uh, spa? Where's the, you know, when you think of resort, you think of that. And so there was a lot of reasons to do that. There's no chocolate on your pillow at night. You know, they're, they're uh, you know, one bedroom, rustic. two bedroom rustic cabins, and that's just the way we want them, and that's the way it is. People sort of. have asked us not to fix it up too much. <laughs> yeah. keep, the, keep the rusticness of it. This Hi, is sir. our yes, one bedroom, welcome. our big kitchens. Yeah. So it is a lodge. It's a lodge. It's a lodge. It's a cabin, not too fancy, but it's got lots of room in it. The bedroom's right over there? The bedroom's right, right over right here. The corner. This is our one bedroom, nice and spacious. Man, it's huge. It's very large, huh? <laughs> very large. And every every cabin has little views to the to the river, so it's you know you get a little bit of that outside inside. And that's our one bedroom cabin, and then you come back out and here's the view. This is amazing. Doesn't get any better than that. It's an outdoor place. You're either on the water, you're out barbecuing, you're doing things. Very little time spent inside the cabins unless it's 110 degrees. <laughs> but then you're usually in the water. This is the path that goes right down to the river. So you got your towel and you got your fishing pole. You got your beers and you're headed to the river. I like it. Those are all caves across there and the goat come down and go in there. People just seem to have such great memories because the lake is beautiful to be on. The Beckers are busy rebuilding parts of the beloved lodge while keeping it booked and beaming because it's such an important place to people who have been here in the past. It is our little green acre. We're making it green. It was a little brown when we moved here, but we're making it our little green we're acres place. Little by little. Yeah. I was always the worst bed maker ever, and that's what I do for a living now. I make beds. I can yell at the maintenance man anytime I want. <laughs> it's 365 days of Saturdays. Yeah, it's a guy's dream. <laughs> so if you want to spend a little time soaking up the sun on the shores of Lake Amistad, stop by the lodge at Sanders Point, a serene spot on the Texas bucket list. If you like the outdoors and you want to come and stay somewhere that uh, is truly quiet, 
peaceful and serene. It's this is place. it. This is that place. We are happy to be here and feel very, very lucky to live here.